All right, guys, so we are in our Greenville location again. Uh, just wanted to show you this home. It is our reserve. You might have seen this on our YouTube channel prior, but we wanted to show it fully furnished. So this house, we did get furnished here in our Greenville location. Um, but just to kind of go through the features again, we do have double pane windows in this home that does um, fold in for easy cleaning. Um, this living room actually is a really, really good size living room. Um, you only get one living room in this house, but it is a really good size. Also too, I love this feature with the barn doors that kind of slide in. They would slide in and hide your TV if you have guests. But then also you do have the bookshelf. I guess it has a mind of its own. I guess the um, Verona Ghost is here. Um, but I do have bookshelves behind the uh, doors as well. So I love that they do have the entertainment center. We did put some cabinets down here just for extra storage for you guys. So this living room, the space is pretty big, but it also we used it very uh, economically. We really thought about every square inch of this home. This home, of course, is like our farmhouse style. So we have this massive, massive island that kind of takes over the kitchen. We do have room for two or three bar stools. I love these pendant lightings that dangle over the island as well. Just kind of add some of that character to it. We did put a Euro hood, which is a pretty different Euro hood. Most of our Euro hoods have glass. This one's just stainless all the way up and it just adds some character to the house. I love that they did open shelving. We did not see many places that do open shelving and we did love that they did that, and especially over this window. I know a lot of people have commented in the past saying, I wonder why they did that. It's just for decoration. A lot of times people will put, just like you see up here, you see some decorations. It's just to kind of add some character to the home, or if you wanted to put some plates up there, some decorative plates, whatever you'd like to do in your home. Um, we do have a bank of drawers over there, but then we also have two massive drawers here for your pots and pans, and they are solid wood drawers. So that's another thing that this manufacturer does that we really, really like. So if we're coming this way, I want to take you, actually, before we go around, I want to take you to the laundry room back here. So we can show, kind of show you the end, the utility room, and then we'll come back and show you the bedrooms. So this laundry room is one to be jealous of when your friends come over. Um, you do have a built-in here for your jackets and your shoes. You can take a seat, you know, put your kids' book bags there, everything like that makes life a lot easier. We did put in a deep sink here and also space for a hamper to go underneath the countertop just to kind of keep everything nice and tidy. And if people come in your side door, you don't mess up the rest of your house. They can take off some shoes right here. And this area stays dirty, but the rest of the house stays clean. Um, you have washer and dryer room here. And also, like I mentioned in my last video, a whole house cut off valve. So that's really nice. We do have a um, little cook or a little, I guess, linen closet here um, that would be perfect for your towels, sheets, kind of keep everything separated. Just another added feature to this laundry room. Ooh, shut the door. So this is one of the secondary bedrooms. We do have a really large window coming in here. And also these are double panes, so they fold in really nicely as well. I mentioned in the last video, a lot of people have asked about unfinished walls. So unfinished walls, you can anchor stuff in. Um, this is a sheetrock wall. It just has the strips instead of a finished sheetrock. Uh, it is sort of like a price point. So, but you can, as long as you find a stud, you can mount things on this wall. I've had a lot of people ask that. And to answer your questions, yes, you can. Both of these uh, rooms have very good sized closets in them. Uh, this one has a walk-in closet. The other one is a regular size, but still really good size for this home. This home is only about 1,600 square feet. They really use every square inch of it very wisely. So coming on in, this is your second bedroom, um, or you could use it as an office. Either one will be perfectly fine. Uh, again, we do have a good size closet in here as well. And if you take a peek in there, so you do have enough space to put plenty of clothes for a kid, younger kid, or if you have a baby, this would be great for a nursery. Young families, this would be a perfect house for you. 
and couples that are retiring that want to retire down here in North Carolina. We do have this beautiful uh, square porcelain sink that we did put in in this home as well with the white cabinets. It really just kind of speaks to what people are wanting nowadays. They really want, um, I'm gonna sound real country here, but they all want light, bright, white, and cock. They all want the ice. <laughs> um, but we do have one piece fiberglass tub as well. And of course, every bathroom has to have one, a toilet. <laughs> so I'll show you guys that. For some reason, everybody wants to see that. I don't, it's, they're all the same. <laughs> so if you're coming down here, on the other end, it is separated. So walking back through this great room, it is separated though. We do have your master bedroom. So one, well, a couple of great features that they have in here is they already have put in a ceiling fan for your master bedroom. And we also put in his and hers closets. So you have identical closets on either side. Once you take a peek in there, we do have some construction material, but we do have identical closets on either side just to make life a lot simpler and easier. Now coming into this master ensuite bath, I love this bathroom. This bathroom is just absolutely gorgeous. We have the um, open shelvings there, the dual vanities, uh, with the square porcelain sinks, the white cabinets, the black knobs. It's really, really classic, but that's kind of what everybody is asking for nowadays, like kind of a classic farmhouse look. Uh, we do have the shiplap wall here with the open shelving above the beautiful standalone garden tub. And we do have this gorgeous shower. We do have the Amazon rain head in it. And we have this beautiful tile work uh, in this shower as well. Really good size shower. I'm not for sure the size. I think it's a four by six. But perfect size for you and your family. Um, but guys, if you join me in the kitchen, I'll give you some final details on this house. So you can just follow me. Um, coming back through here, we have this beautiful flooring too. And I didn't mention that before. It does carry over into the living room. So if you have pets, um, it's perfect for that. You can kind of keep them out of the bedrooms. The rest of the house has this uh, beautiful vinyl flooring. So again, this house is a, um, excuse me, this house is a three bedroom. Two bath home, I had to think for a second there, and it's uh, uh, 28 by 60, so you're looking around 1,600 square feet. Um, this house has pretty much everything that you want in a starter home at a really good price point as well. So this home, just as it sits on our lot uh, with no improvements whatsoever, you are looking, what was the question? You are looking in the upper 70s. So that is a really good price point for this home. Um, that, like I said, it's just the home itself, though improvements like that, we would have to add those. But just for this home, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous home for that price point. So guys, we really appreciate you uh, watching another one of our house tours. Make sure you click that subscribe bell, uh, subscribe button below. Make sure you click that bell for notifications the next time we upload a video. So we really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.